Hello, I'm Ed Tritum and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as the British Empire, Nazi Britain. Right, so we've just managed to take over, well, I would call it the Allies. It was technically like the North American Alliance or whatever, but basically uh, America and France. Uh, we have a lot of armies just sitting here. Well, it's just one army, I guess. Uh, yeah, but it, basically there's 75 divisions. Um, we're going to have to figure out what to do next, like who to go to war with, etc. Uh, Turkey, Iraq, Iran, all possibilities. I think Siam is pretty damn tempting, just because they're kind of encapsulated by me already. Um, and I can then grab them and they have some resources, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And I don't think they should be too difficult to fight, maybe? Uh, I don't want to go to war with uh, Republic of Spain because there's still a civil war going on. Which means that I will just get involved in their civil war, which I don't want to do. Um, I don't want to fight Nazi Germany because I want them to fight with the Soviet Union. Uh, there's actually a few things I've missed here. Like, looking at the cryptological bomb, right? I can go do that if I'm at war with Germany and Poland's not in a faction with Germany. Which is like, yeah, cool, that's nice. But the one I really want, right, is to go down here and get, like, the Maud Committee and then Secret Weapons. Secret Weapons requires Maud Committee. Maud Qu the Committee requires Tazard Mission. But looking at the rules of the Tazard Mission, it's actually really unfair. Um, basically... America must exist, must be democratic, must not have two of their, like, things. It's like, okay, so I can't do this because the Free American Empire is, you know, fascist. Unless I deliberately turn them democratic, which is going to take ages. Um, so it's a case of, yeah, no, I just can't do this. I think that's really, really unfair. Like, there should be a bypass to this. Because right now, it's just like, yeah, you can't do this. And the secret weapon... Six times 50% research bonus for electronics, rocketry, uh, and nuclear. That is so good! That is that is entirely the best thing about the British tree, actually. That is probably the best thing about the British tree, the fact you can get that. Um, because it means you can get, like, really good jet fighters nice and early on. It means you can get uh, nuclear technology. It means you can get uh, great decryption, and that helps as well. Basically, I'm going to ignore this other tree. Like, I technically, I can get the uh, cryptological bomb if Poland A exists, and B, I'm at war with Germany. But, eh, it's, it's, it's good, but it's not, like crazy I'm gonna write home about it like that's what secret weapons is for now one thing I will get relatively soon I've completely forgot about is military training act which removes the end the uh the war to end all wars which basically means that I'm getting less manpower than I should so once I grab that I should be fine in terms of manpower for a little while although I do want to produce like absolute tons of everything uh so let's have a look at our tank brigade I think I've got medium tanks unlocked no I haven't am I researching them please tell me I'm researching them no hmm Hmm, okay. Um, right, so let's make the combat width better, because at the moment it's 6. Let's get it up to 10. And then I'd like to add some motorized infantry, just to bulk it out. Is that re reducing the soft attack, the hard attack, sorry? The hard attack is like 34. Technically, the hard attack goes up. Piercing goes down, I think. Yeah, so it's less good against... Nah, I can't really do that, can I? By doing that, I'm basically making it crappier against tanks. Which is fine if I have anti-tank guns, but I don't like going anti-tank guns. I tend to think that's what my tanks are for. So I guess we'll just stick with this in a moment. Uh, I might end up bulking up later with some mechanized, but for now, it's just going to have to sit like it is. Uh, five tanks, combat width is fine. Field hospital... <laughs> Maybe... Uh, Spot artillery, definitely. Uh, recon company, yep. Uh, engineers, yep. Uh, sure, go field hospital. Uh, Anti-air is terrible, and to be fair, it should be. Um, signals company is apparently bugged. It gives you the organization and the HP, but it actually doesn't give you the like the plus five percent initiative that it says. That's what I've been told at least. And just reduce my piercing, so I'm going to ignore it. Uh, field hospital does well. I'm going to drop the field hospital. There we go. I'm going to just save that. Yeah. I might get anti-tank guns just to add to a tank brigade or something, but other than that, I don't think I'm going to use them. Uh, right, let's have a look at our infantry divisions. Signals company. Since you're bugged, I'm going to re remove you, add support artillery. Uh, recon company. No, nope, that's, that's done. Uh, cavalry. Eventually, you're going to become uh, an MP unit. And I'm dubious about where I should have one for now. Because honestly, I'm not going to be 
capturing land. I'm going to be ending wars. I don't want to get into a war that I have to capture land in. Uh, colonial garrison, blah, 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 blah. I probably want to upgrade all my colonial garrisons to, so like, decent troops. All right, let's give you field hospital. And we'll give you support artillery, just in case. Right. Where are my colonial troops? Hi. I would like to... Uh, not including the horse. Goodbye, cavalry. Thank you. Change you to infantry divisions. I will need manpower. I have loads. I will need infantry equipment. Um, I have loads. Artillery? Yep. Support equipment? I've got minus one available. Ah. But I'm going to have to build more of that. And motorized. Yes. Same goes for you. Uh, go here. Infantry division. Yes. This will make them slightly more effective. In a fight. They'll take more resources and stuff to build, etc. But that's fine by me. Like, I've actually got a fairly good industrial base, so I might as well, you know, buff them up. That's my logic, at least. Uh, right. You. Especially since they've got, you know, experience fighting now. They're all pretty decent troops. I believe that's almost... Oh. It. Anyone else? Nope. I mean, not that I can see. There's probably, like, someone hiding out somewhere in some undisclosed part of the world, but probably not as important. All right. Uh, there's also a war against Switzerland we could have. Technically increases our front line, but... Eh, what faction are they going to join? They're democratic. I don't think they really get on with anyone. By the way, if you can hear building work, that's because, yeah, there's building work going on. Uh, more precisely, you can hear, like, banging going on in the background. That's the building work. Um, I decided that, like, I have to record at some point, so sod it. I'm going to have to record, but hopefully it's not too prevalent on the microphone. All right, let's just send you home. Okay. I'm still debating who to attack. Like... Technically, there's Mexico. But I I think getting some land around here would not be a bad idea. But getting sand might not be a bad idea. Um, I guess this is on the way to Siam. So yeah, I'll dot my troops over here. Right. If you wouldn't mind, I needed to travel. And if you mind, I still needed to travel. So just travel. And then, like, select half of you. Do I know Phil Marshall? Yes, Montgomery. Here's your offensive. Technically, we have still that land to be able to use as a stopping point. But whatever. Uh, and then offensive line for you is... Let's edit that. Like that. That'll do. Right. Uh, I think we can go and pause. What am I missing? Carrier fighters and bombers, etc. Yeah, I know. I've got so many things to do. Upgrade needed. Sure. Um, Teletary needed. Sure. Support equipment. Filled. Oh, okay. I thought it would be short. Toad artillery. Have we not got better already? No. Light tanks. We can still do with more. Right, that gives us concentrated industry. You're a fair way away. Factory repair speed. How many repairs have we got left? Yeah, totally worth doing. Let's double our repair. As much as I want other things, yeah, the repair's worth it. Also, maybe it's worth going towards Luxembourg just to, like, you know, have Luxembourg? Russia's annexed. Yep, well. That was, that was expected. Let's be honest. None of us are shocked by that one.
At least it kept the Soviet Union busy for a little while. Okay, where's my air power currently concentrated? Service overseas. Excellent. That means we can go get the War to Ender Wars. Yes, I would like to get rid of that. Wow, that banging is really loud. I really hope you can't hear that. Uh, do, 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 here? No, they're going to overcrowd it. All right, one to there, one to there. Select all. There. Hopefully that won't overcrowd that one. It's got like a thousand space, so... Ooh. Soviet Union uh, issues uh, Bucharest for the immediate transfer of Bezvara to the control. The region once belonged to the Russian Empire. Uh, Romania. Okay, so Romania. Got a claim against it. Interesting. Will they side with the fascists? Oh, there's a lot of troops over there. Dear God, that is loud. Uh, right. Let's get a few more troops onto this one. Just because Iraq's a bit of a pushover, whereas it looks like Turkey are pretty tough. I'm thinking maybe I should have a, a naval landing to expose another front. That might actually be a good idea. 24 left, in which case you should probably just be a general. That way I can train like some super like kick-ass general. All right, let's pick a five. Oh, there's a six. Forest, eh, no. I don't need the forest bonus. Uh, reconnaissance, yeah, that's good. We'll go William Slim. And I need to select, like... Yeah, you're over, like, look at your, your fuel is an issue here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I should be selecting these ones, because they're regular. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not my troop. Ten. And let's give you two. No. Commando. Yeah, sure. You're a level one, but hopefully you'll get better. And I want you to go here. And then I want you to plan an attack. And I probably want the attack to be over here. Yeah. Dear God, that is incredibly loud. What are they doing? Like, taking apart the entire flat. Uh, yeah, you can probably hear that now. I was hoping that I could avoid that, but oh well. Um, hopefully it doesn't distract you too much. I'll try and do like a minimum amount of recording today just to try and minimize it, but it looks like it's going to be going on for a while. So if you hear this in future, by the way, on any of my videos, I can't help it. Uh, right, let's do a search and destroy, and I'll also block any of the Turkish Navy. Not that that's going to be a big problem. Finland rejects Soviet demands. Okay. Romania joined the Axis. Wow, they went fascist very quickly. Wow. That was a jump from, like, a little bit to a lot. How did that happen? Is it just what happens when like, the Soviet Union claims on them? They get, like, an event or something. Must be something going on there. Um, These troops are kind of sitting here like, I don't know what to do. Here, here's an idea. How about you go and... Well, Finland got declared war on. Not that I really care. Sorry, Finland. I'm going to do a fallback line. Poland was a non-aggression pact. Sorry, Poland. I plan on taking everything over. Being completely honest with you. Right, how long until that's done? A couple of weeks. Justify war goal. Istanbul. Iraq. Justify war goal. Sure. I mean, honestly, anything will do. I'm not picky. Right, let's go to five times speed. Hungary's not looking good. Republic of Hungary, democratic, uh, demo, no, democratic. I was like faulting over the word there. Democratic and yeah, trapped between these two powers, neither of whom really care much for democracy. Uh, right, let's grab some fighters. They're decent fighters as well. Those are my Spitfires. I'm gonna put all of them up here, and then I'm just gonna switch them over in a second. 
So, I probably don't need any more fighters. Tactical bombers, and most of my closed air support. And, yeah, a naval bomber as well. That I could do with. You really don't like your odds, do you? 41. I'm pretty sure, like, you're tough enough to be able to do that, but whatever. Um, I could go and grab some of these now, Battlefield Support, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try and get stuff like my improved artillery, which I need. Uh, medium tank, which I need. Um, maintenance, again. Like, logistics company. These are all important ones. In fact, I'm so behind, I haven't even got weapons too. Really, just straight away weapons too. I'm angered by Turkish posturing. Mmm, Turkey. Especially if it's a nice bit of, like, grease on the side. Three civilian factories, really? Oh my god, look at that. So many civilian factories. That's like a dream come true. Uh, yeah, sure. We want more military factories then. Hi, America. Uh, not so fond about your bread basket, but I'm certainly interested in your, uh, toolkit. The toolkit of America. And yes, I know I could be doing something with my free dockyards, but honestly, I don't think I need them. Like, the biggest naval threat I have is the Japanese. And that's not now. And even if it was, I don't have... I haven't researched, like, the best stuff. So I can just wait some time and I'll research some, like, decent uh, naval weapons. I don't want to be, you know, knocking out the crappy ones. Yeah, manpower's just rocketed there. Uh, I'm going to go for... Encourage Colonial Elite, research time minus 5%. I'm questioning the motives of Iraq. You've been sitting there, being all provocative with your oil. I actually have a lot of oil in Texas, but whatever. Um, do 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 Ahead of time. Ahead of time. I could do Air Doctrine. I don't really want to. Could do that. Still ahead of time, though. Um, could do Navy, and I was talking. Yeah, I need the improved artillery, because all of my, like, Infantry, really rely on artillery. Mechanized as well. That'll be one of the next things I do. Right. You've got your navel ready. And in theory... Honestly, how the troops doing in where... Yeah, look at the supplies, a massive issue. So what I might do is instead... Grab the motorized... Because they use a lot of fuel, right? And the tanks. Similar reason. Oh, they need more training. I guess they're going to get it on the front line. Um, they don't really have any tanks, so... And I'm crappy with the tanks attacking into, like, mountainous terrain. Tanks don't, like, excel at that. So I'm going to grab anything particularly fast and some elite uh, troops, or at least, you know, decent troops. Uh, let's try and make it a nice number. Get to 24? It does leave you quite diminished. I'm sure you'll manage. Because they just, they're going to suck at attacking because it's mountainous and they're well defended. So what I need to do is I need to change the goalposts. So, by using this 24... And then giving them, say, um, I mean, the supply consumption is really helpful, but I don't want to be using a field marshal right now. Panzer leader, sure. And then we get ready to basically swing in, do a landing, grab some stuff. And then once you've secured the port, we'll be good. The reason I've chosen these is because they're, like, super fast. So they should be able to uh, nick land pretty damn quick. In fact, I'm going to move them further away from that port because I feel that I'm, like, putting a lot of um, pressure on the supply point around here. Move them up to here. 
Alexandria is probably a better port to do it from, actually. Three military factories. Oh, it's so lovely to have three military factories. It's really novel. Uh, more support equipment. Uh, more guns. Less less soaring upstairs would be lovely. Uh, what else have I got? Build aircraft. I mean, we could build some close air support, but again, I don't really fancy doing that until I've got the next tier ready. Uh, I could upgrade the Spitfire, but I'm waiting for the Spiteful to be done. How long till the Spiteful's done? Like, a long time. Okay, uh, yeah, well. Maybe, maybe we should uh, do something different for the moment, then. Um, ooh, production. Honestly, support equipment never goes out of date, so let's just get a ton of that stockpiled. It's always the same. Motorized, yeah, you can always give it a little bit more motorized. Um, light tanks. We're going to need a lot of light tanks, apparently. So there we go. We'll get you to, you know, fill out those. Uh, sure. Let's let's upgrade the Spitfire. Why not? I've got air power sitting around. I actually don't have that much air power. I'm going to save it then. Let's save it with a spiteful or something. Okay. Encourage Colonial Elite. Reduce research time. It's appreciated. Uh, bomber Command? Improve our bombers. Then again, I haven't really used heavy aircraft. Uh, Canada likes us more. Meh. Civilian and naval factory, again, like, doesn't really matter to me anymore. Mediterranean Bastion. There we go. Let's do that. Alexandria, you get some buffs. Nice. When's my claim going to be done? October. In about four days. So I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. Um, if you've enjoyed, please remember to like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Next time we're going to go to a war down here. I'm really hoping these two fight because I don't have to fight everybody. Because even though I have 1.4 million manpower, the Soviet Union has far more. Uh, Germany hasn't really even gone to war properly yet. Ooh. Reassert Eastern claims. Okay, so this is possibly going to be the bit where they like start fighting. So we'll see. I'll we'll have to see about that one. But anyway, until next time, stay shiny.